right guys here's what we're going to be making today it's a shark puzzle page for our quiet book um it's uh really easy to make and it's really good fun um it's one of my favorite pages i've made so far so i hope you're going to enjoy it as much as i've enjoyed making it okay right let's get on with it make your shark quiet book page uh, you'll need to print off the template uh, which is on my blog um, just follow the link in the description below you will need a piece of cotton or it can be a piece of felt measuring uh, 10 inches by 10 inches you also need two more bits of felt and these measure about eight and a half to nine inches by nine inches the top one needs to be blue or a sea color and it doesn't really matter what the bottom um, color is um, so just whatever you've got spare will be fine and then to make the actual body of your shark uh, you will need uh, felt in these colors so i've got gray white black pale blue and a green color you'll need corresponding threads a sewing needle and some scissors. Right, let's cut out our pieces. You will also need um, some Velcro. Um, now this is like a self adhesive one. You kind of peel it off and stick it on um, and we've got a fluffy side and a sticky side, but these are what are gonna um, make our puzzle pieces come off and on, okay. So I've cut out all the pieces that I'm going to need for my shark quiet book page and I've taken one of my square pieces of felt and I'm just positioning my pieces uh, where I want them to go. This, this part, his body part, will have a bit of an overlap. So I'm just going to tuck that in a bit like that. And my teeth I did slightly differently. I kind of cut them all in one big long piece and I didn't want my shark to look too scary so I'm just doing a top row teeth if you want a scarier shark then you can have a bottom row as well but I want mine to look a bit like a friendly shark there's his eyes I'm going to put my plant about here and I'm going to arrange my bubbles so they're kind of like that once I'm happy with my positioning what I'm then going to do is, um, using a fell stitch, stitch around all my pe my pieces. So I'd start with the lower ones first. So I'd start with this white one first and slowly build up the black pieces, probably being the last pieces. Um, and I'm going to use a, a smaller fell stitch than I'd normally use. Um, I want extra stitches in there to hold these pieces on because to make our puzzle pieces, we're going to be cutting them up. And what I don't want to do is all the threads coming loose and my pieces falling off before I do that. We will be doing a bit of securing on each piece um, but I don't want any um, threads going astray when I do that so I'm using extra um, fell stitches today so I'm going to be getting on with stitching that now and I'll show you the next step in a moment. So here he is, he's all stitched on, all the pieces are firmly sewn down now and now comes the scary bit. I've got to take my scissors and um, cut my shark to pieces. Uh, it is a bit daunting, but don't panic. It's um, all going to be okay in the end. So I'm going to cut mine into nine pieces, and they're going to be roughly square. Um, so it measures um, nine inches across by nine inches, roughly. So I'm, that's where I'm going to make my incisions. There's a long way that I'm going to cut into thirds, basically. So I'm three inches across here, three inches across here to make my strips and then cut them the other way. But I am going to be a little bit sneaky and just make sure that I'm not going to cut half the eye off or things like that because small bits like that, if they're kind of cut in the middle, it's likely that the threads are going to come unraveled. So I'm going to be a little bit careful um, when I cut around the details where my small um, details are. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut mine right now. So here he is cut into rough thirds and now I'm going to cut each of these pieces into thirds also. And here we are, he's all cut up into nine pieces now. Um, I did have my uh, other piece of felt um, on the back, it's going to be on my back and I cut that along with it just so they're the kind of same shape. And I'm going to take each piece now and I'm going to do a blanket stitch all the way around you can use whatever color thread you like I'm going to use um, a kind of a pale gray color um, just to go around all my pieces and um, to keep them nice and secure um, something to note here as well is if you're using um, uh, the uh, velcro that's non-self adhesive 
sew it onto here at this point before you sew, do your blanket stitch all the way around. I've got the self adhesive stuff and I'm just going to whack it on the back when I'm done doing my blanket stitch. So I'm going to get on and sew blanket stitch around all of my nine pieces. I've now sewn up all my puzzle pieces. I've done a blanket stitch all the way around my nine pieces. There we go. So now we're ready to uh, get our Velcro stuff and um, start sticking bits on the back. So I've kind of put my puzzle together and uh, the fluffy side, that's this one, not the scratchy side, that's the bit that we're going to stick onto our puzzle piece. Okay, and then you're going to do that for each of your squares. So I've got my fuzzy side stuck down to all of my um, squares now. So now it's time to stick them down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the middle one and just peel back the self-adhesive and turn him over. And I'm going to kind of build the puzzle as I go and line up the pieces as best I can. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So I'm lining it up down the bottom here so those bits meet and giving it a little push down and do that with each of your pieces until they're all stuck down. And here we are, our puzzle is complete. Here we are, a shark puzzle page for our quiet book. I really enjoyed making this one. Um, I want to make like a whole book of them now, of all different things. If you've got any ideas of um, what I could make, then please leave me a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.